Are you using WordPress and are you looking to automate your social media posting from WordPress? Well, if your answer is yes, this video is for you. And this video is for you if you are an e-commerce owner who is using WordPress, WooCommerce or Easy Digital Download or if you are an agency who is managing a lot of WordPress website for their client or if you are a blogger, a hobby blogger or a professional blogger who is running a content website and looking to automate a part of your social media posting. And that is the future of marketing. A future of social media marketing is partial automation and with human touch. And this is exactly what I'm going to talk about today. And you can achieve that with the help of a single WordPress plugin. So without further delay, let's go ahead. Let's learn about this amazing WordPress plugin. <music> Hi everyone, I'm Harsh Agarwal from Shout Me Loud and if you don't know me, from the past 14 years, since 2008, I've been helping marketers like you to grow in the field of digital marketing. And today we are going to talk about WordPress and social media marketing. Now, as we know that a lot of aspect of social media marketing can be automated. And in my earlier video on Twitter automation, I've talked about an amazing tool called Tweet Hunter. And today I'm going to talk about another WordPress plugin, which you can use for any kind of WordPress website, be it WooCommerce, be it one using easy digital download, be it only a content website or a deals or discount website where you can use this plugin to automate social media posting. What it means is whenever you publish a new blog post or a custom post type, it will be automatically published on your selected social media network. And that's not all. What you can do here is you can also automatically publish your old blog post, your old content, your old e-commerce products that are already live on your website. You can publish them automatically on your social media platform and giving a new life to your old content, bringing them in front of your audience who have just joined you on your social media platform. That way you continue driving traffic to your existing content and make more money. Well, this is exactly what you can achieve with this plugin called Revive Old Post. And this is a freemium plugin. They have a free plan and they have a premium plan. This plugin you can download from the WordPress plugin repo or you can go to their website, uh, Revive Social, and then you can see all the features and you can purchase this plugin. Now, before I go about how you can set up this plugin, let's dissect the website of this plugin and understand what all features it offers. So without further delay, let's go ahead. Let's learn this. So very first thing, few of the feature is that it supports few social media platform like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google My Business and Tumblr. You can share your blog post, your pages, your media content and you can select articles or products from or deals or discount from your custom post type. You have a lot of control over your social media share like you can decide you know what text should be going with when this plugin will automatically post your you know content. You can share the existing article more than once. You can auto pick your hashtag from your tags or categories, or you can also add, you know, few hashtag permanently, like which will be automatically share whenever and you know, this plugin will share one of your content. For example, in my case, I have a brand shout me loud. So whenever I'm sharing any article or any, any content using this plugin, I append a hashtag, hashtag shout me loud. You know, it helps in branding a lot. And then you can also use Bitly or any other URL tracker to track the clicks from by using this plugin. And you can, you know, set for the condition like if you don't want the article which are tagged with particular tags or categories not to be shared on social media, you can do that too. So this is what this plugin can do. And the setup part is very easy. And let me show you how to do that. So you have two choices. You can use the you know free version or you can purchase the premium version. Let me give you an example of what all features you can expect in the free and the premium version. You know, for the certain social media profile, you can use the free version, which will help you share your new and old articles automatically. Though you would not be able to use the custom post type. So if you are using custom post type in WordPress, like deals, discount, 
products you would not be able to use them for you know using revive old post so in my opinion if you are using a woocommerce website or you are using easy digital download integration or if you are running a deals or discount kind of wordpress website in that case you should be opting for the pro version but if you are using a simple content based website like a blog like a you know any kind of content website then you can stick with the free version by the way very interesting fact this plugin was earlier used to call as tweet old post and later on when the thing started catching up especially in the social media marketing side they re rename it to revive old post and added functionality of more social media plugin so i'm configuring twitter in this example now make sure that you're logged in with your brand twitter profile on which you want to enable the automated posting now log into your wordpress website go to plugin and add new now if you're installing you know like the free version just simply copy this revive old post and then you can search for this plugin and as you can see a good idea to know if this plugin is for you or not is always check when was this plugin last updated and active installation the higher the number of active installation that means it's a plugin which is being used by a lot of people which is a very good thing so anyways now in this case and also definitely check the ratings because sometimes the bad ratings means this plugin is not for you you can always go to see all which will take you to the plugin review page uh, and the forum page and here you can you know find out what are the recent comment about this particular plugin so anyways uh, that's how you get started and that's how you basically determine if a plugin has some certain quality or not all right click on install now so the plugin is installed now let's go to the settings tab so here's the setting tab let's go here dashboard and the very first thing you would be doing is connecting with your social media networks i already had this plugin configured long back so now let i'll reconfigure this so i'll just remove all accounts now click on twitter so we'll just simply connect with twitter and enable the auto posting feature so here a pop-up would appear authorize the app and yeah that's it my twitter profile is connected with revive old post similarly you can connect with your facebook linkedin google my business you know tumblr and other social media platform which is supported by revive old post and you can always enable or disable by making changes here right now click on general settings now you can decide what should be the minimum interval between each share so you know i want to share everything after 23 hours so one article almost a day so minimum age of the post should be 15 days should be older than 15 days if you want to share the same post more than once you should select yes uh, since as i said in the free version you can only select the post type but if you are using the pro version you can select different custom post type and then you can enable the google analytic tracking which I highly recommend because that means you can monitor how much traffic you are getting by using this auto posting feature and if you want to enable the post on publish feature you can enable this what this means is as soon as you publish a new article it will auto post on your selected social media channel now i do this part manually so i'll remove this feature and then this housekeeping feature is very important and this is a feature that is added by a lot of plugin these days what it means is once you disable and delete this plugin it will auto delete all the feature and settings of this plugin that way is your database would be more clean so once this is done click on save now once this is done click on post format and here you can configure for based on different social network on how the sharing would happen so i want to share content with the post title of course the minimum character that they should be using is about 80 so if you want to add additional detail like written by particular author you can add it here and this is very important especially if you have a multi author website where you have multiple authors contributing on your website now i'll keep it as it is should rop include the post permalink or not you want to of course keep it enabled so that way the link is also shared and yeah you can use the url shortener you can use the wordpress short url or you can use the bitly now i personally used to like bitly and if you're using bitly you need to add your bitly token so you know bitly is a free url shortener service of course they have a premium version but the free version is very good for the basic work but if you're you know an agency or if you are running a big media house then you might be want to use the pro version so once you go to bitly and here you can go to settings and then click on api 
Here, enter your password and click on generate token. It would give you the basic API which you need to copy here and that would enable the bit.ly URL shortener for this plugin. What it means is whenever a post will be shared, instead of a long URL, it will use a short URL of bit.ly and you can go to bit.ly dashboard to check your analytics as well, which is pretty amazing. So I'll simply do that. Now, this is one feature which I was mentioning earlier that you can have common hashtag for all shares. Since my website is all about WordPress, I would use the common hashtag WordPress. And pretty much that's it. Now, once this is all cool, I can click on save post format. This is all done. Now you can set the custom schedule, but this custom schedule feature is only available in the pro version, uh, in the business and marketer version. So it won't work here for now. And then let's click on click to start sharing and let's see what happens. Okay. So now this is my queue. So now this plugin has automatically pulled about 10 posts, which would be auto posted after every 23 hours. And this is how this automated posting happens using this revive old post WordPress plugin. Now, similarly, you can add multiple social network to auto post on your WordPress site. Now there are many other WordPress plugin you can use if you want to auto publish new articles or new content on your social media profile. But what makes revive old post quite interesting is it will auto post your old articles or old content to give a new breath of life to these articles. That way you drive traffic to your old content and especially if you are managing an evergreen kind of website, you know, this is going to be very helpful. And if you're running an e-commerce website, again, this is a great way to drive traffic to your products, which your new followers might not be seeing. So that's how you use revival post. Unfortunately, I could not show you the pro version feature, which I have to figure out why it is not working, but more or less, this is how you use revival post plugin. In the description, I'll add the link to my article and also link to the plugin page where you can go and check out the plugin features and if you like you can purchase it with that guys i will see you in the next video bye bye this is harsh